it's me Renee, I'm back. So I'm going to do this video, as you can see in my title, I'm going to do something I've done before, but it's my birthday last week, and kind of as an extension of that, I said I want to do this video. And it is, as you can see from the title, let me just a moment, it is a list of elements, I'm going to say, that I wish or, or hope to see more of in books. And of course, if you're watching this, know that, Renee, there's lots of books with this, or I know some recommendations, please give them to me. But yeah, uh, let's start with kind of the most basic bitch. And I'm just going to put them under one thing because they're similar. It is settings. So I feel like every book is either set in New York, London, maybe in LA. It's always one of those big cities and it's always a big city. Well, not that big cities, just big cities aren't interesting. Or like if they're not set in somewhere uh, Anglo-centric, it's Paris or maybe it's in Rome. You know what I want to see more of? I want to see a book set in Malta. I think that would be quite cool. I mean, it has such a big history. So like, for example, romance set in, set in Malta. Or you could have, for example, uh, you could have an um, adventure book set in Malta because the big history it has, like a national treasury or like Pirates of Caribbean thing in Malta. I think that would be so cool. Uh, similarly, I think a book set in India, I don't really think there's the, well, yes, okay, sorry, I think, yeah, I can just right now say, yeah, I know there's probably lots of Indian authors writing books set in India. I'm thinking more like books where Americans or British people go to India, and I, I know I should be a bit ashamed, I'm, I, I am a bit ashamed, but like, if I was going to read a book by Indian that's written for Indian audience set in India, it would kind of be so, it would be so, a lot of stuff that we were talking about would be so uh, kind of ingrained in Indian culture. I wouldn't really know what's, what it would be about. I would kind of, I would kind of have to Google every other thing. Well, I wouldn't, but maybe I would. And uh, yes, what I read, I want to learn, but I also want to be entertained. So like books that way, I don't really like books that too kind of, uh, what's the word again? That are too, they're too close off, not close off. Uh, they're too based, not based. Uh, they use the kind of like uh, rules and yeah, yeah, subcultures and cultures that, yeah, common to that place. And like if, I suppose, like of course, like, if I'm gonna write a book about Norway, maybe subconsciously I'll put into lots of stuff that's common to Norwegians but aren't common to everyone else and it'll kind of be difficult for you. I suppose it's kind of a weird argument because lots of books get translated, so it's not like that can't happen, but yeah, yeah. Anyway, this is me being a bit silly. <laughs> Probably might lose some subscribers from this, but yeah. I want some more escapism books, romance books set in India. Okay, that's kind of what I want to say here. Um, similarly, I also think like the setting of Iceland, I think that would be very cool. I mean, Iceland has an old history, history a rich history, such a special special country, small country, and the yeah, topographic there. And yeah, you could either have a romance there, you could have a adventure style set, book set in there. Could be a comedy set in Iceland. I mean, f I think it can work for a lot of elements, really, a lot of reasons. And uh, yeah, that's things I kind of want more of at the time. And then up next, we have characters, as was more character based. Uh, and it's, it is a book based around characters that has a non verbal learning disorder. You might have seen my uh, excitement earlier this year when I found a YA book set, book set, book with protagonist that has NLD, non-verbal learning disorder, and I also did uh, review it a few, <laughs> a few, 
handful of weeks later because life. Uh, I will link them both down below. I did enjoy it, uh, and it's actually the first ever book that has a fiction book that has a non-verbal learning disorder person at all. That suppose like written, said, uh, defined. There are like I suppose you can go and read a book, and you can have like guess they have NLD because not all not things are always like on on paper. Sometimes it kind of like you think, okay, it's not Seb, she's lesbian, but kind of subtle and just kind of, it's kind of guess that, it's kind of uh, under the surface there. So I suppose you can like, I suppose you can read different books and do head canons with NLD. But I think as with most uh, representation, it's not really real. It's not like, it's not ideal before you had it, have it on paper. On page, sorry, on page is what I'm thinking about. On page, like written. What's your deal? My deal is I have non-verbal learning disorder. What's your deal, idiot? Or, yeah, that's spelled out, really. And, yeah, I, I enjoyed some parts of it, but I didn't all, but, like, when all your, uh, uh, when all your actual, uh, um, I didn't forget what I was about to say, when all your actual representation is one book, of course it's not going to be Exactly how it's for you, but of course, like even if there's, I don't know, two hundred books there in like twenty years with none of the people, probably I won't find one book that's exactly like me. But yeah, and anyway, like even if more books get written and they're not quite like me, I see like seeing NLD on page, it's just so empowering and amazing, and also like the book had an afterword with like information about NLD so yeah I, I want more please world please give me more give me more and um, yep yeah, and then let's move on uh so next I suppose it's kind of similar to the first setting uh, first setting first uh, element or first first note first first thing uh and it's setting but it's kind of Mythical settings, so like for example, the road. Well, sorry, road. El Dorado and Atlantis. Like Atlantis, I think in a way you have it. Many, at least in some elements, in some movies, in a lot of TV series, a librarian TV series use like mythical places, and also the movies. And we also had, uh, you also had um. Uh, what's again? Uh, journey, you know, journey to center of the earth, journey to center of the earth, journey to the second world in that one. I've used Atlantis and lots of different ones in one. And like, I feel like often Atlantis, like mythical places like that, are often used in movies or in like TV movies or movies or charmed or like, yeah, like these magical and these supernatural uh, movies and TV series. But there's not only that many books about, about them. Well, sorry, I'm saying we're wrong. Uh, there are some books about them, but the ones I've encountered are sub four. So what I kind of want here is like the people who wrote The Road to El Dorado and this uh, TV, the Disney movie, and for them to write their own spin uh, in, in a book version, or like write Atlantis in different ways in book version, or yeah, I don't know. I just I want good Atlantis books, good wrote well, uh, wrote uh, El Dorado books. Also Shangri La, like all these different very cool mythical places. Can people write cool adventure stories around them? I mean, I suppose you could like think like okay, I have to say I have to tell I have to tell her like say why well, person is written. Yeah, I write one kind of classical book. It wasn't really that good. The mystery why he sold so much. I I felt like I was, it was too fast paced for my taste. You didn't really get to know the characters. So yeah, good. Um, I suppose that kind of goes for what I was saying for all these elements. I want good books and with all this. Not bad ones, but good. Good. Or well, perfectly, or fantastic, but I'll settle for good. And yeah. And then next we have. This kind of comes with a little story. I suppose also this could be, um, 
Kunde Nix på det där månaden sedan. Ja, det är du dig. Det är du dig. Och en vän. Vi får gå på det sist. Men ja, så... Many years ago, I actually went to Spain. Well, actually went to Spain. It's not that strange. I thought it might be, but yeah. Okay, I went to Spain. And then we did a labor in, I think, in like Brussels or like, yeah, some other, uh, some other uh, place in Europe. It doesn't really matter because it was just a layover for a few hours. So we just we were just at the airport. But like, it was at the airport. So like, it was kind of, I had to kill time. So I just walked around the, the airport. And I found there was this one um, uh, one flight I was taking off and I was going to maybe it wasn't going to Turkey maybe it was just a commercial anyway it was a uh, commercial for my, for uh, Turkish Airways and like the the commercial started with like an overview of beautiful landscape beautiful city and then you had the sea and then you had a mermaid uh, jumping up from the sea and kind of jumping so far that it kind of looks like she flew. Like, yes, in some movies, j- mermaids, like, they jump uh, up in the sea and, like, kind of, like, jump. Like, this mermaid, like, the sea is here. This mermaid went all the way up there. It's kind of like, yeah, that's not jumping, that's flying. So you know what? Ever since that, I probably wouldn't see a book. Well, I suppose all the could be movies and stuff, but, like, I think I would call the book where <laughs> flying mermaids. And that would be cool. I mean, like, I suppose that would be space mermaids or something. But yeah, I think that would be surreal, but as abstract and cool. So, like, yeah. Uh, and also, like, different twist on mythical creatures like that. Like, a mermaid that flies, and a, I don't know, a unicorn that is rude. I mean, something like that could be very cool. Very cool indeed. So yeah, um, first actually, like looking at notes, this was actually first my uh, my video, but then actually thinking about it uh, yesterday, I thought, you know what? Also, I kind of want like more coincidence books. Okay, so let me explain uh, what I mean by this. So for example, books where two people meet and they have the same name, like Will Wilson, Will Wilson. That book in itself, I read it years ago, enjoyed it. I think I maybe gave it for charity now because I might not reread it, but like I love the concept of that. Like people having the exact same name and kind of meeting randomly and they're living close together so they meet. I suppose yes, the chance of people having the same name as you, like in your country as but also, also like on a global basis, like John Smith. There's probably a lot of John Smiths on a global basis. Uh so yeah, people have the exact same same name as you, probably gonna happen. But you're meeting, that's not that uh, certain. So, like, example, like, people having the same name, or, like, people being born the same day, or, yeah, stuff like that. If they kind of meet and they, I don't know, if it's a romance, or make it a comedy, or make it a adventure, maybe. Maybe do a fantasy around this, where, like, people with the name of Ingrid Nielsen, has kind of these kind of magic and people that are born the 22nd of July have this kind of ability. I think that would kind of also be kind of cool. So yeah, and um, that, my dear friends, is my video for today. I hope you liked it. If you have any, as I said, recommendations, if you have any thoughts, let me know down below. And uh, yeah, well, this is, as you kind of, kind of guessed, the last video in June. So the last video in my birthday month. I would say my birthday month has been quite nice. I haven't read quite as much as I wanted to do, but I've had a good month. And I mean, when you're not a student, if you, if you read five books a month and not 50, it's not really... No one's nagging you because you're not a student, so you can really read as much as you want, really. It's just kind of your own mentality that says, like, you have to read so, so many books. But, I mean, read as much as you want. I mean, as, like, for example, if you just end up reading five books a month, but those five books are amazing or change your life in some ways, or you enjoy them, and the rest of the month you do other stuff you enjoy, well, then it's going to be a good month. So... Yeah, and yeah, also I had a nice birthday, and yeah, birthday month. 
I'll see you in July. Also, yeah, I filmed some stuff last week that I haven't posted yet, so that'll probably go up tomorrow, or tomorrow, sorry, next week or something. So that'll be like me from the past showing up. Boom! So how I'm traveling to the future. But yeah, um, so just be aware of that. And uh, bye!